Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm Alex, the new uh, security guard here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I was just just checking out some uh, fo- old footage there. I've heard some weird stuff goes on here, though, so that is a bit of a concern, if I'm quite honest. But I'm glad you guys are with me because hopefully it'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, it does. Uh, whilst you know it's 11:59, it's close to 12 o'clock, so mid shift. It does start in a minute. Wanted to quickly talk to you about Five Nights at Freddy's on the NES and the Game Boy Color. So this is the first of the ones we're looking at today by a developer called Judy. That's right, just called Judy. So this is, like I said, a Game Boy Color version here of Five Nights at Freddy's, but it is that little bit different. This isn't trying to be like the first one, in the sense of you're basically stuck in one room and you control the lighting and the doors and just look through cameras and making sure that you don't run out of energy. Slightly different this one in the fact that it's a point and click adventure. So very, very different. It's great to see originality with games like this because they are trying to be that much different. But can it be really as scary? I mean, for me, the real issue I actually focused with this game was the fact that it was really hard to tell where I was going. You've got to remember this is a low red system. But remember, there's also a original Nintendo version out of this game. So for me... Yes, it needs to be a little bit clearer, but I do really like the idea of this one because, you know, at the end of the day, not everyone's trying to do or trying to change an original working recipe, and it's done here. So, certainly very different. And for that reason, you really can't say anything negative about this one. Okay, I do apologise for that. I uh, I had to do it, right? So this is it. This is how I'd imagine. Well, this is a NES version, I should say, of Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's sticking to the source material very, very closely. It's basically the first game in the style of the Nintendo or original Nintendo system. And the way it would look, it's this 8-bit version of it. Yes, you basically got access to CCTV. You can obviously control the lights. You can obviously also control the doors. Obviously, all meanwhile, making sure you keep an eye on the usage meter in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do that, the doors will open and yes, you will absolutely get attacked. Hey, that's the name of the game. I think for me, this one really does represent the original game and the kind of scare factor that it actually had. I think visually, for essentially an 8-bit NES version, this really sets the scares. Now, this title was actually done by Endo Blantz for Vim Jam 2, and you cannot deny, this is really, really good. It captures the scares in the sense that you got to just look at the way they're looking at the camera. The CCTV, really, the effect. My god, it's scary. Now, for those of you who haven't played this, you may not know that the aim of the game is you are basically a security guard in a pizzeria. And yes, you are surrounded by... Let's just call them animatronics, yeah? And yes, you've got to make sure that they don't kill you. That's right, you've got to stay in your security area, keeping an eye on the CCTV. Now, they will move around. Absolutely, they'll they'll move around. And they want to kill you. That's absolutely the aim of the game. Can you avoid them, though? That's the real question. Now, obviously, if you can reach until 6am every single morning, then, yes, you've survived. If you don't, then, yes, you've absolutely died. For me, like I said, it's the fact that this really does stick so close to the original FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, that this is 
it's really the star of the show. Now, obviously, I'm going to leave a link if you do want to check this out. I think you absolutely will want to. Yeah, I love it. Let me know what you guys think, as always. Because, yeah, who isn't a FNAF fan? Like, comment, and subscribe. It's Al Sunny out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously, you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.